Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create an animated video watermark. In a previous tutorial, I did a review on Wonderfox video watermark, as well as a video tutorial on how to add text and image watermarks. Here's an example of a simple animated watermark, and I'm going to show you how to easily create this using Wonderfox video watermark. So I've got Wonderfox video watermark open here. So first we need to add a video. You can use this add video button or just drag and drop the video in this area right here. I'm going to use the add video button. I'm going to choose the video and then here it is. So I'll start off by adding the text watermark by clicking this add text button. So I'll change this default text to ajgodino.com and then I'll click this add button. As you can see, the text is right here. It's very tiny. I'm then going to use this font button. And I'm going to change the font color to yellow. I'm going to change the font size to 28. And I'm going to use this distorted text section right here. And click this enable button. As you can see, it creates a circular text. I'm also going to change these values here. To 85. And click OK. I'll just reposition this circular text by dragging and dropping and place it in the bottom right corner. So next, let's animate this text. And we're going to have to add keyframes and do that in this timeline. So first of all, I'm going to change this from minutes to seconds because this is just a 15 second video. And I'm going to click on this add key button. And as you can see, it adds a keyframe right here. I'm then going to place the playhead to, to the end. And then I'm going to click the add key again. As you can see, it adds another keyframe. Next, I'm going to move this rotated slider from 0 to 360. And if you do a quick preview, you will see that the circular text animates. I'm then going to click the OK button. Now let's add an image watermark by clicking this Add Image button. You can use this Browse button and choose one of the images from the huge library. As you can see, there are various tabs here. Or you can upload your own image by clicking this Load Watermark button. Images that you upload will show up in the user defined tab. And as you can see, I've already uploaded an image here, and that's the one I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to cancel out of here. But once you upload the image, it's going to show up right here. And then to add the image to the video, you can just click this add button. I'm then just going to resize the image by using this slider. And I'm going to just reposition it right there. And then I'm going to use the opacity slider to make the image transparent. And then I'll click the OK button. We can then take a quick preview. This of course is just a basic example. But you can use your creativity and do a lot more with this. You can apply these watermarks to a single video or multiple videos as a batch. And then finally click the Run button. 
But that's pretty much it. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. To learn how to use Wonderfox Video Watermark, check this videos. And thanks for watching.